Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another art video. My name is Stephen Quick and here is a big old canvas and what am I doing to this big old canvas? I am decoupaging it. What is decoupage Steve? Well decoupage is kind of taking photographs, pictures, cuttings and sticking them to another surface to create sort of like a wallpaper effect I guess. Um, here I'm, you can use, most people use PVA glue. I find that a bit glossy. Here I am using a product called Mod Podge. I'll leave a description uh, in the box below if you want to go and get some Mod Podge and give it a go. This is definitely the best stuff for doing this. Um, in fact, I'll leave uh, links for most of the material I'm using in this video just so you can help you out if you want. Um, I got a Wonder Woman encyclopedia for this. So it had different pictures of Wonder Woman throughout the years from the early days to the film just to give it a range of sort of styles and colors and textures um, and it looks really cool don't you think <laughs> um, there is one problem with this is that there's no way I could draw on this I couldn't draw Wonder Woman on here for painting so I came up with this idea of getting some uh, brown paper sticking out there drawing out roughly how I want her to look um, <laughs> um, and then uh, cutting out a very sort of um, archaic rough stencil that I will then pop back up there and uh, spray with a white and get this sort of misty misty effect with drips um, and then I can draw onto that the uh, spray paint I'm using there is Liquitex spray paint which um, I wouldn't recommend using I only use it because I got it free in an event it's crap stuff don't buy it <laughs> and then we've bypassed the drawing bit because that wasn't very interesting and here is the constant battle I have with black. Do you highlight black with grey or do you highlight black with blue or purple? Uh, comic books you see a lot, they highlight um, hair with blue and that's why I did this. And I started on the hair which I don't normally do just because I was very worried about it. Uh, then I'm going on to the bodice and I'm just getting the structure of the bodice done in black as well. Again I was very concerned with this so I thought I'd get all this structure in first. Uh, this black I'm using is uh, Pebio. Uh, acrylic paint again I'll leave a description uh, leave a link in the description if you want to give that a go um, this uh, dark sort of blood red um, red wine red this is Liquitex Basics which is a paint you don't see in England very much I think it's quite common in America um, it's not bad stuff I quite like it it's a touch glossy but um, if for uh, in the grand scheme of acrylic paints it's up there with the best so uh, give it a go oh, again I'll link that if you want um, <laughs> What am I doing here? Oh, well, okay. So this bodice has got a metal top. Um, and I'm painting this in greys, various shades of greys, just to give it that shiny effect. Uh, when it comes to grey, I don't use out of the tube greys. I mix it. Um, and I do that by taking, say, your middle tone that you want and then mix up and then mix down. Don't uh, go straight for the darkest and mix down. You want to start in the middle and go up. Um, I just mix black and white and then sometimes a little bit of blue or a little bit of yellow just to give it a bit of warmth or a bit of coldness depending on what you're painting. In this case, I'm painting um, metal, so it's steel. Uh, so a bit of blue in there just to give it that colder effect. Um, then we're highlighting the hair. And by this point, I'm happy with the hair. Just again in a, a lighter blue just to pick out the uh, darker blue and just to give it a bit of shape and movement. Um, I decided later on that I create most of this movement through the bits of hair that are going to come off the side of her, which I think it works well. And then we're just doing the last bit of uh, metal, which is her, what do you call that? Her crown? I don't know. I don't know what you call it. And then we're going into the skin. The skin, again, I don't ever use skin out of the tub. It, the skin tones you get out of the tub are always way too pink and sort of cartoony. They look really crap. So um, I mix all my skin tones, which is a right pain in the ass. But uh, uh, again, I mix the middle tone and then work up and work down. I use a mixture of uh, bone, a lot of bone colors. They work really well. Yellows and browns. So it's all on the brown side just to get these skin tones. Um, and they work really well if you can get this creamy lustery color um but not the pinky side of it that just it looks crap um so that's what i'm doing here uh painting on my skin tones i can't link you them because i just mix them myself um and at this point i'm just going to the bodice and giving the black structure the um darkness especially in the armpit there i was a bit concerned that i couldn't quite get the angle of her body it's turning at a weird angle um so i just went in and, and rendered that bit more fully than i would at this stage normally just so i can see if it's working and it was uh there i realized i missed off wonder woman's little bracelet thing on her arm wouldn't be a bracelet on arm would it armlet I don't know, and <laughs> painted that in and uh, just kept doing more and more skinny poos. Uh, hair, here we go. So I've added the movement here by putting all these strands of hair coming out, which looks really cool, really, really cool. Um, and I'm just doing that, all of this in Posca pens. Um, if you've not used Posca pens before, they are a paint pen. They're a pen full of paint. Um, and they are really, really good. Uh, again, linked. Ow, I just hit my knee on my table. Uh, again, link 
that in the description if you want to try them. I really recommend trying them. They are brilliant pens. Um, and I prefer it to a brush just because I can control it a bit more. And also, um, it dries pretty instantaneous. Uh, so we're going up to the face. We're putting in the greys for the eyes, this dark blood red for the lips, a bit of darker brown under the nose, and just a little bit of pink. Oh, that's all more an apricot. And then just, this is just the rough black. I'll go back in later with the Poscas or a thinner brush and just define these eyelashes, um, the eye balls and what have you and here we're going with the cross hatching yeah i get the posca out here you get lots of different uh, size nibs in these ones so this one i think is like a 3m nib something like that and i'm just recross hatching and adding movement adding depth with this black just this very pure comic book way of painting and this is how i always have done it and that's because i read way too many comments when i was a kid um here i'm masking off the side i decided the the sides are a bit snaggy because of all the um decoupage and so i'm and if you can see i've taped each side of her leg and then i'm going to do a black border around it and it'll her leg will just be popping over that black border so it kind of like she's jumping out uh, at this point we realize let's put in a lasso last minute addition was the lasso or her lasso um luckily i could just about see my pencil marks and then i've gone back in with a thicker posca and just done these random swirls they're random in a way but also i am thinking if this is off screen making sure each swirl or each strand is connected to another strand then falling behind her um, and that looks really cool um here masking off so i'm going to do that black border but i want to do it in spray paint so it's nice and smooth so i'm just masking off the rest of the paint with just some scraps of paper um and then I'm getting my spray paint. What am I using? I think I use uh, Molotov. Yeah, Molotov, which is my favorite spray paint. I'll link that if you want to try it. This black is just beautiful, 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 beautiful paint. And then we get it off. And there you can see it. You can't quite see how she's popping out because the camera's not there. But trust me, she is popping out of the canvas. <laughs> and then I am thickening up the uh, lasso. Um, the lasso is going to be gold. And I find if you use any metallic colors, it's always better to do a basic with black because it makes the metallic jump out a bit uh now i wanted this gold to shine i could use gold paint again i didn't i use a gold posca pen um it's pretty damn good it shines pretty well i thought it was gonna be a bit flat but it doesn't it looks really good i could have made it glow more if i'd use say like um gold leaf but gold leaf at that thin would have been a very pain in the ass to do and also gold leaf is so expensive you waste half of it so this posca gold is a really really cool color i've never used it before so i'm happy as hell with it and here she is slowly moving down there is her cool sword her cool legs her cool bodice the cool background that cool like misty thing i've done in the back which i really love um her face a bit more definition in there and the eyes and the lips and oh well everything <laughs> um really really happy with how she's come out um i thought she looks really really cool and then there she is fading in she has come out amazing <laughs> that's not a bit big-headed of me um it was a great fun pain to do and a real challenge but i felt like i knew enough about comic book art to take this one on so there she is my wonder woman on a decoupage background uh, using uh, lots of acrylic paint lots of spray paint lots of mod podge and i loved this painting i can't tell you how much i love doing it and i hope you love looking at it and watching it um please subscribe to my channel because if i don't say that i get shot in the head like comment let me know what you think and i shall see you in the next video bye